Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a true freezer and in this video specifically we're going to go over defrost parameters. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have two stand up true freezers. We're going to be going over the defrost parameters as this unit does work but they complain that when they put ice cream in here at some point they find it melted and they cannot have that happen or just losing product. So in this video we actually are going to go over the defrost parameters on the true digital temperature control. Above the unit we have a analog temperature gauge and it looks like we're somewhere around 14 degrees. Somewhere around there. That is not accurate. If we go down below here where the condensing unit is, you can see, it's a little hard to see but it's like flashing in the video but it's steady in real life. We're at zero degrees so I'm sure you've probably seen these kind of controls before. I want to show you how to get into the defrost settings as I found it a little bit difficult to get the proper information. I do have the manual and honestly, <laughs> it's a little tricky. This one is at zero, but something's up with this one. This one's at 24 degrees. And there's some issues going on here. Anyways, I wonder if I turn off the light, it'll be easier to see. So we have four buttons here. One, two, three, four. It's like an info button here. We've got a down arrow, up arrow, and like power button here. So to get into the parameters, we're gonna hold the power and the info button, the left button and the, and the right button. All right, there we go. Now there's a bunch of things you can cycle through controls are a little tricky but let's start with DFT DFT is going to be your defrost interval so we're going to click this right button here and see what it says let go switch but go back over there so when you hold it it showed four so that means every four hours this thing goes into defrost which is a bit excessive a lot of times a typical defrost control you might see it every six hours for 20 minutes or every eight hours for 20 minutes I'm gonna try because they get they're, they're getting things frozen here I'm gonna try with the eight so I'm gonna hold down this button then you have arrows here, right? This is up, this is down. Right there, eight. So now we're gonna go into defrost every eight hours. So that's three times a day. It should be all right. So that's the first parameter you're gonna wanna get into. All right, so the DFT intervals is every eight hours. Simply let go and it locks it in. Next, we're gonna scroll right there, DTO. We're gonna press this info button and we're going to see what it says 35 that is excessive so what df let's go back what dfo is is so now we have it at every eight hours but dfo is how many minutes how many minutes is this program for so right now we're going to hold this button again 35 minutes is way too much the one of this thing is freezing we'll mess with this thing simply going to let go so now we're going to go into defrost, the interval is every 8 hours, and the duration is going to be 20 minutes. We have one more setting we could adjust, it's hard to even see what this is, it looks like DLI, it's called info, Let's see what it says, 65, so pretty much when it reaches 65 degrees, the sensor inside, uh, I believe that's a defrost determination type control, so it reaches that, it basically we, we know that we defrosted and we go back into cooling operation but as far as that I've seen people say 70 I think 65 is fine I think even some places it's even lower I might need to do a little research on that uh, if it's been working from there like it melts the ice cream and, and it freezes it back up 
but those intervals and times were definitely off. As far as Google says, a good defrost termination temperature is generally between 55 and 60 degrees. The temperature range ensures that the evaporator coil is fully defrosted. Ice melts at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius, and a slightly higher temperature guarantees complete removal of ice. Is that 65? Um, I've seen in some videos they recommend it's 70. Let's find that setting. BTI. Let's go down to 60. All these little things should help. But yeah, 60 degrees, that's kind of warm in there. Leave a comment below if you uh, have any recommendations on that. We'll do a little bit more research. But this stuff right here is a little bit tricky and it's a lot easier to see in a video. ChatGBT says one thing, they're talking about freezers aim for 35 degrees. I mean, you're just above freezing. I don't know, I don't really like that. It says medium temp systems, 40 to 50. But then Google says a good temperature here is between 40 and 60. That 65 definitely seemed like a lot. I could see why it would melt there. Go back here. Sixty. Let's go fifty five and see what's going on. Fifty five. Yeah. So instead of eight hours interval instead of a four hour interval, we got an eight hour interval instead of a thirty five minute. Uh, duration got a 20 minute duration and instead of 65 degrees termination temperature we're going with 55 and we're gonna see how this goes well this video was mainly to show you how to get into the settings if you want to get out of the settings either just don't press anything or go back or press that button right there with a the power button and yeah just wanted to show you guys how this is done this is a bit tricky this is good for me for the future and for all the people that are going to come work for me in the future as well we got tips and all that kind of stuff so got some online training videos in a pinch i could just easily send you this link good to go This box is at zero degrees. This one's actually in defrost. That's what DEF means. So condensing and it shuts down and we're in defrost mode. And I wanna take a look at this one if we're only hitting 20 something degrees here, but that's a different story. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.